What's up, Snow Tracks Nation? I am once again in Valcour, Quebec at the Germain Bombardier Ingenuity Museum. I'm going to be joined by Robin Martel, Snowmobile Product Manager for Skidoo, and we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the most hotly anticipated 2022 snowmobiles. We've also got some questions that were submitted by you, our viewers, and we're going to get the answers. In this video, we're going to cover the Expedition lineup, so let's get started. So the Expedition is, I guess I would describe it as the do-all snowmobile. I mean, it literally can do everything, and you have multiple models, but in that lineup, there's something for every type of rider. You know, we've been talking a little bit before we started filming here, and we kind of talked about how it's like the adventure bike of snowmobiles. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to find a customer to say, this is the person who should buy an Expedition, and I can't, because literally anyone could buy an Expedition and, and love it. So it's one of the only snowmobiles in your lineup, I think, that really does appeal to just about everybody. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. And um, it's interesting that you bring that up, that it appeals to everybody because this year we've seen a lot of uh, new entrants also, uh, you know, new to sport coming in. And uh, they've been buying uh, basically the model that's been bought the most is the Expedition Sport. So, you know, it's a great, uh, great entry level vehicle, not too intimidating. Uh, it comes also with the 600 EFI engine, uh, the 85 horsepower. So, you know, not too much power for somebody coming up. And then people wanting a little bit more, uh, of course, as you go on with the other packages, for example, with the, the LE package that we have here or with the, uh, the the super wide track trim or the extreme. I mean, there's every, something for everybody in there with the different engines and the, the, the 900 Ace family, uh, the 150 uh, horsepower that's in their turbo and uh, also with the 8, 850 that's in the extreme uh, package too. Just a great all around sled to enable you to do what you want on trail riding, having also great uh, off trail capabilities with the super wide track and the 20 inch uh, wide track and the arti articulated uh, rear suspension, which really does marvels when you're in a, a tough situation. Yep. <laughs> you want to back up without uh, sinking too deep. Yep. So uh, just great all around features on, on that, uh, that, that family model. There's almost as many options in the Expedition lineup in terms of like engine choices, track choices, widths, packages as there is in the Summit lineup. I mean, when you start to think about it, there are a lot of options that you can choose from uh, in the Expedition line. So uh, when you say that there's something for everybody, there, there really is. Mm. Exactly, yep. So the first question I have for you comes from uh, a viewer of our YouTube channel. His name is JC Levesque, and uh, he wants to know, do you see a migration of people going from grand touring maybe over to the more loaded versions of of the expedition and i know that they're two different vehicles but is that something that you've been noticing maybe people are kind of choosing the one that's a little bit more versatile versus the one that's got a little bit more luxury well they're they're I think that there's place in the market for both type of sleds. Uh, the Grand Touring is definitely going to be focused, uh, as you mentioned, more on trail riding. So people wanting uh, really uh, comfort, comfort oriented attributes on the sled. And that's what the Grand Touring really is all about. And it's giving you uh, basically all the enmities that you would want on a sled. Uh, everything that you can think of is going to be heated. For example, I'm exaggerating on that sled, <laughs> but you're going to have it's not far off. ultimate comfort as much as for the rider as for the passenger. Um, so f Grand Touring, we, we see it as a segment that's going to be continuing on. And uh, uh, when, when we were saying that, you know, uh, with Expedition, it's gaining in popularity. And I think the reason for that is yes, uh, you know, because it is a very versatile vehicle. And it's also a vehicle that's been a sled that's been designed uh, to accompany people in their adventures. So it, it is so attractive. I mean, people that want to go, uh, you know, fishing one day or hunting the other day or working on their lot, working on their land and having a, a vehicle that enables them to do that, this is the perfect solution. And also if the next day they want to go out playing in the field or whatever, doing off trail, Again, perfect vehicle to do that. And for trail riding, uh, it is also adapted to do that. So it's a very, very versatile vehicle. 
and it has more utility specific attributes compared to the Grand Touring. The Grand Touring is going to be focused on comfort, mm -hmm. whereas here the Expedition is going to be focused, yes, on comfort, but also on, uh, let's say, uh, uh, more work oriented attributes. Capabilities. Of, yeah, capabilities yeah. on the vehicle. So, I mean, you're not going to answer this because you guys never answer sled future questions, but what about like uh, an Expedition GT that has all the features of the uh, of the Grand Touring but is an Expedition? That might be the next big thing. Those, you always have to dream. That's right. So that's, that's Maybe that's, that's good, my yeah. dream, who knows. <laughs> right on. Quick question uh, that we actually get quite a bit is very simple. The 850 E-Tech motor is only available in the Expedition Extreme. What is the reasoning behind that being limited just to one model? And is, is that something in the future we might see expanded? Well, it's a good point. The Extreme comes equipped with that engine. And uh, the main reason is to give uh, that sled the capabilities it needs to go off the beaten path, uh, being able to have uh, more deep snow capabilities. So that's why the 850 uh, was a natural choice to be able to do that. With regards to expanding, you know, we're always uh, listening to our customers, uh, listening to market feedback, and uh, you know, if there's, uh, you know, if there's a lot of requests for that, we will definitely keep our, our ears open, and uh, who knows. So moral of the story is, uh, if you want an Expedition LE with an 850 in it, you need to go to your dealer and you need to tell them that that's what you want yep. so it can get back to these guys and they can give it to you. Exactly. Simple as that. Yep. Awesome. That's a good starting point, yeah. <laughs> Something I've been very curious about when it comes to the Expedition is when you moved into the G4 chassis uh, with this platform, one of the things that was carried with it was the excellent handling characteristics of the G4, and that actually makes no sense because it's a 20 inch wide 154 long track. It shouldn't handle very good. Like on paper, it shouldn't be that good, but it does handle really good. Can you comment at all on how you were able to achieve that with a vehicle that's got such a huge track footprint? Yeah, that's uh, that's something that we we did look into uh, very deeply during uh, during the conception uh, period of that uh, of, uh, of that design of that sled, and of course building on the findings that we did uh, along the way when we brought the Gen 4 into life, basically for our uh, trail segment and uh, all our other segments, deep snow and crossover, and then taking those learnings, and then uh, taking all the, the, the key elements and then bringing them into our utility platform. So, uh, and being built into the Expedition uh, specifically platform. So all those, all, all, all those things that we learned along the way, we were able to implement them and, and make a really a good, you know, good ride for the customer. Mm -hmm. The way I kind of see the expedition in my mind when I think about it is I always equate a certain snowmobile or, or vehicle to other vehicles that, that have a defined purpose or, or defined usage scenario or usage um, idea. And for me, the expedition seems like it's very much adventure bike. You know, the guys cruising around with all the gear and the bags and the lights and everything. And a lot of times they're just going to the store um, but they want all that capability anyway. Do you, was there ever, you know, on the, on the wall of design concepts when this vehicle was coming into life, was there ever an adventure bike on there? Is that where some of the, some of the inspiration might've come from? Interesting thing about, uh, you know, about the design and uh, the research period when we, when we were uh, looking into, uh, into that project is that we did some research. We went to meet some uh, some customers, and we had some of our uh, some of our development guys uh, from here going to Alaska, and went to meet uh, some people uh, working uh, on a daily basis uh, with with their expedition, looking into how they use it, for what type of usage, what what jobs to be done. They 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 were doing basically with that sled. Uh, what were the accessories that they wanted? We met some people that really gave us some good insights. Uh, and also developing all sorts of accessories to be able to make them accomplish the work that they, they wanted to get done with that, uh, with that sled. So taking all those findings, when, we, when we, uh, we came up with the expedition basically is we, we said to ourselves, we have to build something that will be able to accompany people in their adventures. Those adventures, we, we talked about fishing, we talked about hunting, uh, we talked about uh, you know, just leisure riding. 
So being able to accompany uh, the people, whether they want to do one thing one day, deep snow riding, or going to work on their lot, they'll be able to have the perfect product, uh, the perfect sled to do this. So that was top of the mind uh, when, when we did the development uh, of the expedition. And uh, you know we're, we're always continually getting feedback from the customers, trying to improve it, trying to think about the future, how we can make it better. It just makes uh, the perfect product that we have here today. It's interesting you said it's to accompany them on their adventure. You know, and, and my thought immediately about this vehicle was adventure bike. So it's kind of those two things are tied together, yep, you know, sure. in some way that adventure idea, the idea of being able to go anywhere, do anything um, capable in all scenarios seems to be the basis for this platform. Now, one thing you just mentioned that I thought was interesting was that you went to Alaska and you talked to people and found out what they needed to get certain jobs done. Um, this is the most recreational vehicle in your utility lineup. There are two levels I'm not gonna say below this one, but beside this one, yeah. that are varying levels of utility. Maybe you could speak to me about that yeah, total that's... product package from Skidoo in terms of utility and how this fits in. Yeah, and that's a very, very interesting point. And we do have other vehicles, uh, different, uh, different suspension approaches uh, that we have uh, with the, the LTS uh, suspension on, uh, on the Scandic and the Tundra. The Scandic for us is more like uh, the Ford uh, 150, for example, and then when we look at the difference, Scandic versus Tundra, Tundra is more like a Ranger, Ford Ranger type of, so more more lightweight uh, utility. Uh, of course, the the tracks uh, are different uh, with the Tundra versus uh, versus a Scandic. And then after that, uh, when we look at uh, the expedition, it's more like the Ford Raptor. So, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more depending on the packages that, that you'll be, uh, that you'll be uh, using or, or buying. So work, tow a trailer, do what you want to do, but then also yep. go out and rip on the trail. You've got your Ford Raptor that can tow your RV out into the desert and then go <laughs> hit jumps if you want, right? Yeah, exactly. So they say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It seems to me when we're talking about expedition, we're constantly coming up with similes to make between other types of vehicles. We've called it, you know, it, it's the utility pickup, it's a sport utility, it's, a, it's an adventure bike. We always come up with these similes that it's like, it's just like this. But the one that kind of makes me laugh that I've heard from some, some of my crew is, is that it's kind of also the Swiss army knife of snowmobiles and part of the reason it fits that so well is because of all of the accessories you can get and add to it in varying sizes and degrees to make it do whatever you want it to do just like a Swiss Army knife. So talk to me a little bit about accessory integration and how that isn't just something this sled was capable of when you designed it but it actually was designed from the ground up to be customizable. Yeah that's that, that's a really important point because uh, when you're talking about uh, utility, often you're talking about uh, working in remote areas. You're talking about uh, doing specific jobs. So you have to have you have to have a sled that's able to adapt to your needs and that's able to take you to the places where you want to go in a safe manner. So that could mean uh, you know transporting uh, uh, extra cargo, for example. So you need something that's able to have uh, that that towing capacity. So with all our utility sleds, for that, that's for sure that you 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 do get the benefit fit of extra towing so if you want to put a, a sled or a toboggan in the back and uh, uh, do some uh, heavy loading uh, you know 80 pound material 100 pound material you can do that um, and then also it's really customizable depending on the the accessories that you will buy and bring into the mm -hmm. sled you can really uh, tailor it to do what you want to do so for we have uh, fishing uh, accessories for example ice fishing is super popular mm -hmm. here in Quebec uh, and, and people do use it a lot for that, for doing that. And you can get specific accessories for that to make your experience a whole lot, uh, you know, a whole lot nicer and having all the necessary tools to be able to sure. do that. And same thing for logging, for example, going into woods and somebody that has like a maple uh, sugar shack uh, yep. sort of uh, operation. Uh, again, perfect, uh, perfect accessories to go along with that. Uh, uh, jerry canning, you know, for, for gas, you can stack it up also. And mm -hmm. on this model here, there's a extra wide uh, cargo, cargo space in right. the back. So there's a lot of storage uh, uh, 
uh, on the on the vehicle to start off. So, so would you say that accessorizing this vehicle or, or the way that Skidoo has viewed it from an accessory perspective is that they've made it extremely adaptable to pretty much any scenario that you can come up with. Is that, would that be accurate? Yeah, it would be accurate. And you know, there's uh, also winches or things like that, <laughs> pulling, uh, pulling accessories that you can, uh, that you can use to, uh, to make it even more, uh, you know, more versatile. Right. So there is basically nothing that you can't do in the snow with that vehicle. So the Swiss army knife, analogy actually fits. It does, very <laughs> nicely. You yeah. can use that for free if you want. <laughs> all right, I'll do that. <laughs> Those are all the questions I had about the utility models and specifically the Expedition. Um, thank you very much for that and for that insight. And uh, hopefully this answered the questions that you guys had about Skidoo's utility lineup and again, specifically the Expedition. Um, this is just one video of a four part series. So make sure you go check out the other three and get all of your questions answered about model year 22 from Skidoo.